Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Clan, and welcome to another episode of Miss Billion's Classroom. Today, we're going to discuss how to use Nearpod in Google Classroom. If you want to make your students engage in your lesson, this could help you. But before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you want to hook your students with an engaged activity lesson, Nearpod is one of the best answer for that. Of course, you have to have an account with Nearpod. Usually, as a teacher, we log in with our Google account so that we can incorporate our Google Classroom. So since I already have an account, I don't need to sign up and I will just use my Google account. So this is what you can see once you log in in Nearpod. So as you can see here, I have silver user account, meaning I have the free basic account, which means I only have 50 MB space for my library. So what else can you see in Nearpod? So you have here Nearpod lesson library, so you can select the standard in here. The lessons in Nearpod can be free or paid. So what are the subjects that we have for Nearpod? English, language, arts, math, science, social studies, technology and computer science, and it is made for kindergarten to high school. What are the resource type do we have? We have VR, full lessons, skill builders, assessments, warm-ups, and professional development. So say for example, you are in science, top science. So these are the lessons that you have for science, okay? Now I will going to show you how does Nearpod work. So let's say this one. I have your live lesson in student paste. So I will show you first live lesson. So live lesson, the teacher is the one doing or navigating the presentation. The student will just um, look at the presentation and there will be time for the students to be interactive. So once you click live lesson, it will show you this code. So you, it will tell you students join with this code at join.nearpod.com or in the app. So for you to easily send this link to the student, just import this or send this to your Google Classroom. So I will click Google Classroom. And then you will create an assignment. I will choose my um, tutorial class that I made for my video lessons. Create an assignment. There you are. And then you will say potential and kinetic energy and then just assign it All right close okay now i will go to my students account okay show all right and then click this one so here the student will just click the link the student no need to type in the code, okay? It will just easily show this, okay? I will just click do a list. So since this is a live lesson, when it's live lesson, the teacher will be the one to navigate the material. So the left side, again, is the teacher's view and the right side is the student's view so i will navigate as a teacher on my computer so as you can see once i navigate it the student will not touch anything it will automatically move the slides and then there are some questions so say for example this one 
would you like to approve students comments before they are posted it's up to you i will just click no for this one so what is energy blah 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 and this is how the student um see in their nearpod so they will answer they will put their answer on the bottom so da 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 and then post so there you are all right now i'm gonna show you how to share a student paste activity to the students same you're going to share this to your class so again i'm gonna show i uh, use the tutorial class create assignment and then go so i will use balance and unbalanced force oops okay so you can change the date the due date points then assign okay so in live lesson the teacher will be the one to navigate the slides in student pace they can answer it anytime so just refresh this one this is my students account okay and then again they will click this one there you are they will put their names join session okay so this is again a student's pace all right so if it's student pace the student can do it on their own so balance and balance force click that one Click that one. There's an open-ended question. They can do um, open notes, navigator. They will put their answer in there. Ta -da -da -da. Submit. Okay. They have a video. So as easy as that. Okay. Now they can also exit and they can go back to that lesson any time if they want all right now i'm gonna go back okay to my nearpod so this is my nearpod web page you can also make your own lesson in nearpod so aside from you can get it for free or buy it from the nearpod lesson library I'm going to show you to create your own lesson. So I have already opened a Google slide. I'm going to remove it. And then you should have an add-on of Nearpod. Open Nearpod. And then this one will show on the right side of your um uh google slide so there's like an audio bbc video collaborate draw it fill trip fill in the blanks flip grid matching pairs memory test near but 3d open-ended question pdf viewer poll quiz fed simulation slideshow sway time to climb video web content all right so i I'm going to show you first one of my favorite time to climb. So you can use this time to climb. Okay. If you are like um, bell ringer, say for example, um, what is the color of the sky? Okay. And then let's say blue and then white. All right, so the ad, you will choose which one is the correct answer. White, let's say white, because again, the color of the sky is white. Blue is the reflection of the ocean. And then save. There you are. Okay, I'm going to show you later how does it look. All right, let's have another, let's say PDF viewer. If you have a PDF file like article reading in your 
Google Drive or in cloud or in your computer, you can do it. So I will select file. I know I have downloaded new CLA file in my drive, so I'm gonna choose that. Okay. And then, there you are. And then let's say you can also have um, Flipgrid, let's say a field trip. Okay, there are some that is readily available in there. Let's say um, I really want um, Santorini, so I'll choose Santorini. You can do preview, done. Okay. There, and you can do fill in the blanks. Okay, there are different textiles. Okay. Let's say this one blue. Okay, let's say rain, snow, sleet, and hail is form of precipitation. Okay, next. Then now you you may want to click the words that you want uh, to be um, the blank one. So precipitation done. Okay. And then let's say if you're done with everything. I'm not going to show you everything. Save and go to Nearpod. I forgot to put the title, but yeah, it's saving almost there. I'm going to show you how does it look like. So let's say a uh, preview. Okay, so this is how does, so this is the time, time to climb. What is the color of the sky? Blue and white, I said white because white is the sky. Blue is just a reflection of the ocean. And then, what's this? It's loading. Okay, so this is the article. All right, and this is the VR field trip. You can zoom it, move your mouse there. That's nice. And fill in the blank. Remember, I touched precipitation so they can drag it. Oops, they can drag it right there. Okay, that's so easy so that's it so there you are guys i have shown you a walkthrough of how to use nearpod in your google classroom if it is helpful for you don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you